Hello and welcome to the Maths Doctor. In today's video we're looking at enlargements. This is part two of four videos on enlargement where we will be focusing on fractional enlargements and I shall show you a worked example here um, in a little while. But firstly let's just explore what happens when we have a fractional scale factor. So um, as you can see I'm using the GeoGebra package again and I've already created an object, a square ABCD, um, which is being enlarged currently by a scale factor of 2 that you can see down here from the center of enlargement here in red, the CU, C of E, center of enlargement. And I've already constructed the, um, the, the construction lines or the ray lines um, for you to see where all the vertices lie on all the different uh, enlargements. So, the slider will allow me to go up every 0.25 intervals, so all the way up to a scale factor of 3. And in the previous video, we already discovered that um, a scale factor of 3 means the length, uh, not the area, but the length of each side of the enlargement will be, in this case, three times longer than the original. So as you can see, that's the length of 1, so the enlargement is a length of 3. If I take it down to scale factor of 2, the length is a scale of one, and the length, uh, the enlargement length, is a scale factor of um, is a length of two. But what we're really interested in is what happens as we get down to a scale factor of one. Well, we already know that timesing something by one just gives you the original value, which is why the the size and the position is exactly the same as the original. But here, here's the important thing: as we start to get less than one. So that's 0 0.75, that's 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Although it's actually a, an enlargement, the shape is getting smaller in the same way that if you multiply a whole number by a fraction, you'll get a, a smaller answer. So here, scale factor of 0 0.5, which is obviously a half, the enlargement is the length of, the, of, of each side of this square is a half compared to the original, which is a whole. We go all the way down to 0 0.25, which is a quarter. The enlargement length is a quarter compared to the original of a whole. And of course, you get a scale factor of zero, and there is no enlargement. So, what I thought I'd do is just change my original object. We're going to have a little bit of fun here. So, we're going to have a, a larger uh, original object. So, I'm going to put my center of enlargement. In fact, let's move it over here. I'm going to put my center enlargement in the middle of my object. Okay, I'm going to make a square. There we are. So, actually, I'm also going to give that... I seem to have lost a ray line there. Oh, it's because it, one was being shared on two vertices before. So let's give it an extra uh, ray line. Fantastic. So here, here you can see that A, B, C, D, which is actually the larger square, the 2x2 two two square, is the original object. And currently it's being enlarged by 0 0.5, so it's the length is half as long as the original. So let's go up uh, to the scale factor of 1. Okay. So the root the size is the same. As we go to scale factor of one and a half, it's the length is one and a half times as long. And you can see it's sort of pushing out from the middle in all directions. That's the scale factor of two, which is easy to see. The length is four compared to the original, which is two. And let's have a look at scale factor of three. Well it's sort of coming off the off the page, isn't it? But you can see that each length will be a length of six. But really we're looking at fractional scale factors less than 1, so that would be 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and going all the way towards uh, the center of enlargement, 0, we lose the enlargement completely. So what we're going to do is have a look at doing our own uh, question here. So we're going to enlarge this triangle, A, B, C. 
from the center of enlargement one three so we have a grid here one across and three up so it's this red center of enlargement there and we're going to enlarge it by a scale factor of 0 0.5 which is a half so we're going to expect this to get half um, half the length so we're going to expect a b to no longer be three units but to be one and a half and to bc no longer four units it should be two but not only should it, when we enlarge it should it be the right size it needs to be in the right position as well so as previous examples i'm going to draw my construction lines just because i think it really helps understand where the vertices in the enlargement uh, fall and again i mean i always reiterate how important it is not just to get um, the central enlargement to the vertex uh, accurate but it has to continue to be accurate through th you know beyond the vertices so you need to always check that every two down three across two down three across and so on now scale factor of half so what we're going to do let's take point a we go two units down and three units across to a so because we're going to do a scale factor of a half, we're going to half that. So half two down and half three across. Well, half of two is one, and half of three is one and a half, which is one unit and a half. And there you can see, as expect, expected, it falls exactly on the construction line. And if it doesn't, you've done something wrong somewhere. Now, what about point B? So from point B, it's two down and two, four, six across. So half of two is one and half of six is three. So that's one, two, three, which is there. And finally, point C is this time two, four, six across and two up. So half of that, half of six is three and half of two up is one. So it has to fall on that point there. So now is my favorite bit, which is joining up the vertices. And there we have it. We have our um, enlargement of 0 0.5. Of course, the, the one thing I've not done yet, which is label my vertices, so A must become A dash, B becomes B dash, and C becomes C dash. So the last thing I'm going to do is just just test that by moving my sliding scale. So here we have it, that's a scale factor of 2, 1.5, scale factor of 1, the size is the same, scale factor of 0 0.75, and there we have it, scale factor of 0 0.5. So I'm very happy with that. So um, I have created a worksheet uh, and solutions to accompany this video, um, can be found on my website. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, um, I provided a link below the video and if you found this video of value you can show your appreciation by clicking the donate link for my website and donate any amount that you feel reflects uh, the help that you've received. So uh, have fun with the worksheet. Thank you very much. See you soon.